saying that sometimes our most difficult challenges provide our greatest rewards. Shig Yabu, a Southern Californian, found beauty in darkness thanks to a little bird. It was a special friendship now immortalized in a children's book. And all of a sudden, all these memories start popping up. Every step I take, I'm getting closer to Maggie. Shig Yabu is an 86-year-old Southern Californian, but part of who he is remains in a hayfield in Cody, Wyoming. And Maggie, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, the joy you gave me. Maggie was a magpie, a bird, who literally fell into Shig's life at a time he most needed her. He buried her here in the fall of 1945. But her story lives on in a children's book called Hello Maggie. In it, the wonderful world of a boy and his pet. From the moment they met, Shig just a 10 year old and Maggie a hatchling as her nest came tumbling out of a tree. So I went to it and looked inside and here this little baby magpie bird begging for food. Shig was an only child whose parents were divorced. He admits loneliness was a part of life. I know what it feels like not to have a parent at home. Maggie, to me, was reflecting of my life when I was young. So he took her home and recalls his mom was not happy. She says, you take that dirty bird back to where you found it. Well, that hurt me. But fortunately, my stepfather, he knew exactly how to treat the bird. It was the start of a unique friendship that would help a young boy survive a difficult world. Shig Yabu was Japanese American. The reason this Californian was in Wyoming during World War II was because he was incarcerated at Heart Mountain Internment Camp. One of 120,000 innocent men, women, and children racially profiled, taken out of their homes, and locked up behind barbed wire. American citizens denied their rights and treated like the enemy. I honestly felt that Maggie was like an internee. First of all, it was captured. It was forced into camp. It went to the barbed wires. The only thing Maggie didn't have was the ID tag. Through time, the bond between Maggie and Shig would deepen. He figured out she loved to have her head scratched. She loved it so immensely that her eyes would go up and just enjoyed getting petted. I would always say, hello, Maggie. And one day, this bird said, hello, Maggie. And Maggie could talk and became wildly popular. For Shig, it all made for an amusing, wonderful world. And many years later, he got the idea of writing a book about it and enlisting an old friend to help. Oh, around 1999, Shig contacted me and says, you know, I, um, I wrote a children's book and would you be interested in illustrating it? Willie Ito was Shig's Boy Scout buddy. While Shig moved on to the Navy, Willie had a magical career as a cartoonist. And one of his many accomplishments, the iconic spaghetti kissing scene in Lady and the Tramp. Another thing Willie and Shig had in common, being Japanese American, they were both incarcerated as children. As I was reading the manuscript, I, it re I realized this is about camp and his adventure as a youth at Heart Mountain, Wyoming. So I thought, you know, I think that is a good idea. I think I would like to uh, take on that challenge. Shig's wonderful memories and Willie's colorful pictures take readers all the way to the end of the war, a day Shig remembers well. When the sirens went off, we were so happy. We laid on the dirt ground, laughing and crying. Now we could go home. After three and a half years, these innocent incarcerees were finally free. In the weeks ahead, the camp quickly emptied out. They were ecstatic to go home, but Shig, one of the last to leave, sensed a sadness with Maggie. She was more interested in people. And, and, and so when people vacated, she got very lonely. While everyone else was headed home, Maggie already was home. And it's here she would say. Two weeks before we left, Maggie was on the bottom of the cage with her eyes flickering. I lifted up Maggie, put her on my chest, and all I could hear was my mother behind me crying. 
As much as she complained, through the years, Shig's mother had grown to love Maggie. A few days later, they were back home in California, but the memory of Maggie never faded. She was Shig's dear friend he raised from a hatchling who helped bring beauty and happiness into a desolate place at a difficult time. Today, standing where he left her, brings it all back. Naturally, I was crying. While I was digging the hole, you reminisce all the good times from the baby all the way through the adulthood. How much joy it gave not only me, but my parents, the neighbors, and all the people, internees that came and visited. Although I know she has passed away, but my thought was, if you could hear me, Maggie, thank you for all the love you gave all of us. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel. 